Hi, welcome to Fun Math. Today we're going to be talking about what is a leap year. It's 2020 right now, isn't it? 2020 is a leap year. And a leap year will have one extra day in it, which is in February. February 29th. That is called a leap day. So, 2020 will have 366 days in it. But if it's not a leap year, then there will be 365 days. But is it exactly 365 days? We're going to talk about that in a little bit. So, people that are born on leap days on February 29th are called leaplings. And when will they get to celebrate their birthday? It's not fair because they, they have to wait for the next leap day, leap year. But they can celebrate their birthday on February 28th or March 1st. Or they can wait until their next birthday comes for the next leap year. You already know that the Earth takes 24 hours or one day to complete one rotation around its axis. Here you can see the Earth, North Pole, South Pole, and its axis. The axis is tilted at an angle of 20, 23.5 degrees. Here you can see the sun, the earth, and the moon. If you see here, the moon is orbiting the earth. At the same time, the earth is also orbiting the sun. And for the earth to rotate, to complete one rotation around the sun, it will take 365 days or one year. Is it exactly 365 days? For the Earth to complete complete one rotation around the Sun? Not exactly. We'll talk about that over here. If you see here, we said that the Earth takes 365 days to orbit the Sun once. So, but technically, it's it doesn't take 365 days to for the Earth to orbit the Sun. So it takes a little bit more. We're going to talk about that here. So, the Earth, when the Earth orbits the Sun, it starts from the red line. So, when, when the Earth orbits the Sun, it takes 365.25 days. So, that 25 days, can we add that in the calendar? That's impossible. We cannot. Because it's a quarter. So we're going to write that right here. Point, 0 0.25. So now let's check here in the second diagram. So if you see here, after it orbit, it, the sun, the earth orbited the sun, it landed here. So now this earth is going to start from this line. And when it orbit, it took 365.25 days. Again, and can 25, can point 25 days go in a calendar? No, it's also impossible because it's a quarter as well. So we're going to add that point 25 days over here. 0 0.25 here as well. Now, if you see here in the third diagram, the when this Earth orbit, it landed like this. And now this Earth will start from this. This Earth starting will be in from this line. When this Earth will orbit this around the sun, once it will take 365.25 days. But you can't either, You can you add 20.25 days in a calendar? No, you can't. So we're going to write that point 25 days right here. 0 0.25. Okay, now, see, if you see here, the, there are two lines, and this line got wider. 
So when the earth rotated, it landed like this. So when the earth rotates, it also takes 365.25 days. So we're gonna, can point twenty five days go in a calendar? No, that's impossible. So we're gonna add that point twenty five days here. Point twenty five. So now, in we're gonna add this, all these point twenty fives, and see what we get. We will get one point one. We will get one. So if you see in these four diagrams, we found 0.25 days extra in all four of these years. And when we add them, we got one and that and one extra day. So now we have to fix the calendar. But how? So we add this one and we call it as a leap day. And that one extra day, we will go to February. And that's how we got February 29th. And that is also why we had three, 366 days in, in a leap year. There are a few rules to check if the year is a leap year or not. Let's discuss about these rules. Okay, if year is divisible by 400, then it is a leap year. If year is divisible by four, then it is a leap year. But if year is not leap year, if it is divisible by 100, that means it's not a leap year. So let's take some examples to understand. Let's first take 2021. Is 2021 divisible by 400? No, I don't think so. I think it will give us a remainder. So it's not. If year is divisible by, if 2021 is divisible by 4, no, it will give us a remainder. But year is not, but is 2021 um, divisible by 100? No, not either. That means 2021 is not a leap year. So now let's take another example. Let's take 2020. Is 2020 divisible by 400? No. If you, is 2020 divisible by 4? Yes. Is 2020 divisible by 100? No. So that means 2020 is a leap year. So that means 2020 is okay now let's take one last example let's do 1900 is 1900 divisible by 400 no i don't think so i think it will give us a remainder is not 1900 divisible by four no i don't think so is 1900 divisible by 100 Yes, but that means it's not a leap year. So that means 1900 is not a leap year. All right, so now to review what we learned today. We learned about what is a leap year. We talk, said that 2020 is a leap year. And we found out how we got the how they got the one extra day to February and we added that to February and which is called a leap day and we got February 29th and we know that if it, there's a leap year that means that year will have 366 days but if that year is a not a, a leap year then it will it should have 365 days in it technically it will have 365.25 days. And we also talked about these four diagrams and that's how we found out the, the leap day. And we had some rules here about how to find the leap year. 
I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!